Hello travelers, I'm Timothy French. We're in Mooresville, North Carolina to check out their Race City Festival. So let's get started right here at this beautiful park they made here in the center of town. What a great job they did there and these beautiful spring flowers. Got a little boat that you can sit in out there, I guess, and take a picture. I saw a kid in there earlier. Just don't trample down the flowers when you do it. Yeah, got some seats over there. Got a train going off over there in the distance, dragging some kids around, a little red train there, so that looks like fun. Got a whole play area down there. And got the flag here flying a half mast in front of a memorial. So that's cool. Just a beautiful day out here. We're gonna walk around this town, see what it's all about, see what the festival's about anyway. We've been to this town before we did a town center video about three years ago. Some things have changed and some haven't. Let's go out here to the front. And I got a store selling some of those little dream catchers or spirit catchers. I'm not sure what you call them. Right across from the chop house here. As you look over to the depot, that's where they have all their art in town. Yeah, that's the original depot here in town. Looks like they got all the vendors set up in the middle with the shop still open on the left and right. So that's awesome. Like the one in town does that during their festivals. Pelican's getting a little late start. He better get opened up. <laughs> that GDE Turner Hardware in town, that's a historic hardware. Been here a long time. I used to live in the, more than about 12 years, and I always come in here and get my hardware supplies. You can walk in there, tell them what you want, get in and out. So much better than those big chains. And I think your son runs it now. That's him in there on the counter now. Got a lot of murals in this town. If you look back that direction, you can see one on the wall. That's fairly new. And then Brown's Cafe is an old one that's been here. Got the sign says, Guns on Main, new hours, new entrance around the back in the alley. So that's something I didn't see last time I was here. I will say this jeweler shop has done a great job of fixing the front of it. It used to have an old, ugly awning on it. And they put this uh, balcony on it now. It looks good. That's what you need to do in your town. You want it to be nice and neat. Your hometown is the front door to your community. And these festivals bring attention to them. And I like coming to them. Got a tourist and free public school booth there. I don't know what that's about. Spinner's baseball. Got some golf carts they're trying to sell here, it looks like. Financing available. <laughs> you need them these days. Cost about as much as a car. <laughs> Got a little Paul's place here. <laughs> Dog on duty. <laughs> about four of them in my house. <laughs> They all are going to do it. It's hard to keep them from not walking. All right, so what do you think? A lot of cool things. You make all these? Yes, sir. Oh, good. I like it. How long have you been doing this? A long time. <laughs> well, you. Yeah, oh, good. You must love it then, right? I do. Oh, good. Yeah, I like seeing stuff like this. My, my wife was here, she'd been here buying something, but I, I'm not the buyer in the family. So. <laughs> we got four dogs now. And she's always buying some kind of pet yeah. picture or flag or something. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys do good. Thank you. Uh -huh. Got spring printing in there. And Presbyterian Church is out here today. Got people walking their dogs down. Cool booth here. How you guys doing? He's checking out all the products y'all got here. Do you guys make these? That's awesome. Is that wood? How do you, is, it, is it a machine that does it or do you carve it out? It's kind of like the, how they do the metal stuff, right? You do it the same way, you put the program. That's awesome. I like that. I like Batman too. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Well, I hope you guys do good. Thank you. 
you got all the shops over here, Four Corners is open for you. Now we got music coming up on the end there, so I'm gonna have to overlay some of my own music. The block there's out, so that's what's going on if you hear that. This bubble machine is looking a little weak today. I'm gonna have to do better, bubble machine. <laughs> this Wells Fargo Bank here, last time I was here, I looked at this little statue of Peggy Pop, the legendary citizen here, who owns successful businesses. Help revitalize downtown Morrisville. So thank you, Peggy. I think it was my mother's name as well. The sheriff's department here, they represent themselves. It's about 10.30, so it's a little early here still. The crowd's just now starting to drift in. Probably peak out about 12. I think this thing runs from 9 to 5. One day only. Nice motorcycle. He's checking it out. What else you got in here? Pump is a little close. Hat design, so you get your hat design here. Some saws. Uh, no, I'm good today. Thank you, though. How you doing? It's called Reese Creation, so you take this recycled products and make all these things? They're made out of recycled glass. All of it is, huh? All the mushrooms and the wind chimes, wind chimes and the garden states. Well, that's a great way to reuse products, isn't it? Yeah. How long have you been doing it? Three years, I yeah. Three years, I think. Three years? I've been selling three years. You've yeah. been making them a lot longer than that. Oh, it took really? me forever yeah. to convince her to start selling them because they were great. Reed. Well, you should. I mean, it, it, and it doesn't look recycled. It looks brand new, of course. And uh, where do you get your recycled products from? Um, Goodwill, yard sales, really? estate sales, um, farm sales. I have been known to go dumpster diving on my own. <laughs> so it's a yeah. laden restaurants. <laughs> now, are the mushrooms pieces of glass that you bought that are solid, or do you re-crunch the glass and make it into new glass? I am um, melt like a plate or a bowl it's already kind of big and round, or I'll cut a round shape. And I melt it in my kiln over a form that's like a mushroom shaped top. Uh -huh. um, and I add a little bit of special glass paint or um, glass bits for color. Uh -huh. Like this has little dots of pink right. glass. Right, okay. um, and then it also has paint on it, a little bit of both. But, um, so it melts into that shape and then uh -huh. I Epoxy it onto the box. Okay. Well, that's unique. That's the first time I've seen anybody making the mushrooms out of recycled glass. So that's good. You kind of got a unique business, I guess. I mean, is there anybody else doing it that you know of? Not that I know of. Good, good. I've seen a couple on Etsy where they take a bowl and they glue it to a piece of like a, uh -huh. maybe a face or something and they put some jewels on it but they don't actually paint it, redesign it, right. use it in the kiln. Yeah. And I've never seen anyone do it with the lights where it's still, oh, yeah. still solar lights. So if it's in the garden, yeah. it can glow at night and add some interest or people will put a uh, light in their house and do kind of like a night light. I love that idea. That's great. Mm -hmm. What's the name of your uh, company so I can, you got a car in here? Okay, let me just film it for everybody so they can see it. Well, I hope you guys do great today. Thanks for filling me in on how you do all that. How you doing? I had a lot of music playing when I was talking to that girl, so I hope I'm going to be able to overlay something over it. I don't want to miss all she had to say. But got a lot of clothes here today. Got a bear. Looks like he's tired. He's already sleeping. Birds back there. How you guys doing? Where's my head? Got to find the academy there. Got the generators running here today. Got the 
bakery's over there, ready to sell you something. Still hungry for early morning food. It's not probably about 11 now, I guess. This little reeds here is pretty cool. Oh, excuse me. How you doing? Good morning. You guys make all these products? Oh, that's good. Sure do. I love it. It's beautiful. Thank you. And, uh, where do you get the material? Of just for, is it like uh, what kind of material is that made out of? It's mesh. Um, mesh. I get it between Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby. Okay. Well, and cool. Michaels and yeah. Durant's <laughs> <laughs> and Amazon. Everywhere, huh? <laughs> Everybody's got to use Amazon every once in a while, right? Oh uh, yeah. Well, you guys did a great job, and I hope you do that, awesome that's today. That's only in an emergency. Yeah, that's the way I am. <laughs> Y'all take care. Thank you. Is it good though? A lot of nice items in here. Cups. I like this little tiny cutting board. Grandma's kitchen. Sweet things happen. That's the truth. My grandmother, both my grandmothers were cooking. I missed her cooking. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's see what else they got down here. I like the way Mooresville has all these. Uh, photographs on the wall for their history. I like it when towns do that. You don't have to go in a museum to learn about the history. A lot of times they have this outside and then they'll also have a museum and uh, you can go into it if you want to go into more detail. Got some earrings and key chains right here. Private crafted treasures. <laughs> I like that. Bigfoot. Hey, how are you? Good. Are these puzzles? They're all puzzles. Everything's Ball, well, that's awesome. They will stand up for decoration. Well, good. That's what I thought at first, and I saw the little detailed puzzle pieces. So that's something kids would like to play with too, isn't it? And your name is Pri Pirate, Pirate Crafted, Crafted Treasures. Treasures. How long yes. have you guys been doing this? Um, he started with the pens first, and that was what year? 2017. Yeah. And then he then started down the rabbit hole. Of <laughs> Just kept going this. and going. <laughs> well, I love it. That's unique. I don't. I haven't seen this before, so I always like to, to yeah. kind of come in and stop at the booth got something that's you know that you don't see a lot of times you go to festival everybody's selling the same thing oh, yeah. so yeah. this is great well, I hope you guys do well thank you uh -huh. got some tie-dye shirts here as well local church is there you guys these waters how you doing, buddy? What's happening, brother? <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? Yeah, just out here filming this little uh, festival they got here. I got a little YouTube channel I've been doing lately. Oh, just right. for a hobby. I've been traveling all over. Good deal. So what you up to? Oh, we here with the little church we go to. And okay. Good. Kind of promoting. And you need a water? Cold not, water? Not right now, but I might sure. come back in well, a little we bit. Got, we got, see, we just got a couple of bottles left. Just a few over there in the yeah, corner. See, see long <laughs> Well, you we guys are doing a great job. I tell you, there's other churches out here oh, competing yes. with you, though. Yeah, they are. They are. <laughs> well, as long as they go somewhere. That's right. That's all. Get the word somewhere. out, right? We need it these days, don't we? Oh, we definitely yeah. need it more than ever. Yeah. For sure. Well, it was good seeing you. I'm going to walk around and finish filming this. Good Maybe I'll talk to you again a little bit. Got the fire department. Ladder truck there. And this is our deal. Avenue, we're gonna cut through here and see what's on the Broad Street back here. We're all the way down on Westmore Avenue now as the church bells ring and the train heads this way. Yeah, I had to come on down through here because they're playing, playing a lot of music up there. Got a parking lot there for the band to play in. So we'll continue our walking on down through here as this train comes by. It's about 11 o'clock, starting to get a little more crowded now. LittleRedChooChoo.com if you want them to come to your festival. So we got a catering and dance place there. Bloody seafood. How you doing? 
I want to check your booth out here. We're just filming all these little booths, and this is your booth right here. Yeah. And your name's Buddy? Avis. Avis. Yeah. Okay. How you like that? That's the Pocket 3. Yes, Pocket 3. I just got one of those. Yeah, they're nice. I yeah. I, I was using my oh, you phone. Got, you must have got the uh, Media Combo. Yeah, I didn't get it. I bought it separate. It was a little bit cheaper because oh, I didn't need all the other little things. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I was using my phone before, and this solved all my problems with stabilization I was and sound. To wait, but I, I live in Raleigh, and I had uh -huh. to get down here. And as soon as I got right outside of Raleigh, they said to deliver because I wanted to come out here and, and use it. Yeah, yeah. For, for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like it pretty yeah, much. Yeah, I, I, it's it solved all. I had a lot of issues with sound. Yeah. A lot of times with peaking, and my that phone had a digital stabilization, but yeah. it still would rock. Still this rock. is. Been perfect. You got to be careful with it though. It's it's not waterproof, or if you hit it or something, yeah. it's easy to break. You know. Because I had a, um, I don't know if you ever heard the uh, Insta 360. X2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had an Insta 360 X2, and I had a GoPro 10 Hero. Uh -huh. I sold both of them to get that. Yeah. I never really used a 360 like that. I used to bike and I would put it on my mm -hmm. helmet. But coming out here doing stuff like this, yeah, it wouldn't yeah. work that well. So I, I looked that up, and they uh -huh. had really good reviews. So. Yeah, it's easy to use. And that instance 360, you got to kind of, the way you edit, it's kind of a pain, too. Yeah, you got to edit and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. It gets a little difficult. Yeah. Well, I hope you do good out here today. Okay. Yeah, all right. You. Talk to you later. All right. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, they got the Moore's one. Ice cream is right there. Good place to get ice cream. They sell it all over the county here. Got some bags there. Another shop opened up here. I'll see. It's called the Gendered Farm House. That looks like a cool place. Place that does music therapy. Is that for the internet? Huh? Is that for the internet? Yeah, I got a little YouTube channel. What do you guys do? What do y'all do? That's my wife's music therapy. Okay. She deals a lot with uh, terminal illness, dementia, even young folks, whatever. Uh huh. Uh -huh. But she could get on there if you wanted to. Okay, we'll do that. Hey, honey. You want to talk, tell us about your booth and what you do? I would love to. Yeah. Yeah, this is a Rejoice Music Therapy. Uh -huh. I'm, I own a private practice. Okay. Um, and we're based here in Mooresville, but we make uh, house calls. So wherever somebody calls home, that right. ends up being a lot of nursing homes, mm -hmm. uh, memory care units, assisted living. We do a lot of those. I have some um, just individual like private homes that I go to. Uh -huh. and, um, that's, it's really awesome. well, that's great. And really if somebody wants to, to get in touch with you, is this is your card right here? Mm -hmm. So let me film yeah. that for you. Yeah. So people can see that. And so there's, there's your... a phone number you can call or text, and then the QR code will take you to the website. All right. And yeah. so you play music when you go to these places. How, how does that work? Yeah. So it, you can compare it to other therapy, like physical therapy, uh -huh. occupational therapy, or uh -huh. speech therapy. Um, so those they have uh, right. their tools and they have a goal to get there. So with music therapy, we set a goal. Uh -huh. We use music to get there. And okay. it's, it's individualized. So there's not one set type of music. So uh, you're teaching them to play music? Mm -hmm. as well. no? no, it's not lessons. It's just lessons. We're just using music as our medium to reach a goal. Like for example, I said that we go to a lot of nursing homes. Uh -huh. So a lot of times in those groups, if, I, if I'm doing a group or it could be individual, we'll um, be working on maintaining social skills, verbal right. skills, communication skills, reducing the signs and symptoms of anxiety and depression. Okay. So those are the goals, and then we're just using music yeah. to get there. Yeah. So there's well, a lot of awesome. singing, there's a lot of music making, yeah. and, uh, and all kinds of things. It can be yeah. receptive or expressive right. or mixture. So uh, the breathing part, they don't even know they're working out. Yeah, and it's not like they know they're working. So it, yeah. it's, it's fun and enjoyable. Uh -huh. For example, when we're singing mm -hmm. in a nursing home, mm -hmm. Those are the, the muscles they need for singing are the same ones they need for uh, chewing food and swallowing food right. and breathing okay. and communicating. So we're just strengthening and maintaining the skills that they, that they have. Well, that's an awesome yeah. service that Thanks. you offer. And I'm Thanks. so glad you come over and got me yeah, and had sure. her talk about it. You guys Thank have a great day. Yeah. Find you on there. yeah, Timothy French is the name of the channel. Timothy French. Yep. Hey, how are you? Okay. Uh -huh. What a great service they provide back there. Look at this. This is beautiful, too. Thank you. Come to the train again. Well, that's true. Okay. There they come. Everybody having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like an interesting booth over here. It's more woodworking. Dogwood Creek. Handmade. Heart failed. I like that. That's awesome.
Ornaments are ten dollars. Key change are fifteen. How you doing? Dad's barbecue there. This is reclaimed wood. This is pine wood. And this hair it looks like. That's an awesome little boot. Yeah, permanent jewelry over here. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Me too. Is that is that say permanent jewelry? Permanent jewelry, yes, sir. Now, how what is what is permanent jewelry? So it's custom fit and then it's welded to itself, so oh, okay. they don't come off. Oh, cool. Yeah. And, and you make all this? Um, I don't make the chains. I'm okay. the chains. Okay. But yeah. Well, great, yeah. great. Well, I hope you guys do good today. Thank you. What's the name of your store? Novi Rose. Novi Rose. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. Got one called the Rustic Barrel. I like all that rustic stuff. How you doing? How are you? This is your little booth. Yes, sir. The Rustic Barrel. Yes, <laughs> I like that name. Thank you. Do y'all have a machine that does this, or do you do it by hand? Okay. Help me, Lord. Some of it's done by hand, but mostly. Yeah. Done. yeah. Those those uh, computers and those little what do you call the thing the that lasers? cuts them? Yeah, they make it easy, don't they? I got uh, I retired from the fire department. The guys made me uh, a thing out of metal. You know, I guess it looks similar to yes. that, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Well, I hope you guys do good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Home sweet home, that's what it's all about, right? <laughs> Mr. R. Fillers Designs, Apple Juice, Cosmo Gypsies over here in this old, this used to be a telephone exchange building. That's the first time I've seen this store. He wasn't here last time I was here. Got some more mugs, and charms, and all kinds of things. Got some more crafts. Is this uh, stained glass? All this stained glass? Do you do all the stained glass work? My wife loves stained glass, and she's always wanted to do it, but she thinks it's too hard for her. But it's something she can learn, don't you it think? Is a lot of work. Is it? And uh, it's something little that you think is going to be easy. It's still a lot of work. <laughs> and then if you mess up, you got to you crack something. You got to start all over, don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. You heard crack. You're like. <laughs> you're like. Ah. <laughs> you want to scream. <laughs> well, you do a great job. I love it. Thank you so much. I'm just going to show some of your pieces here. How much does uh, something that size cost? I have the prices on everything. This is sixty. Okay. Well, that's good. That's not bad at all. I like that one. Well, thanks for talking to me and let me know about your business. Thank you. How, do you have a card or? I do, right over here. Okay, this is it. Can we just? This yeah. Is my card. And uh, that's my Instagram account. All right. Well, let me throw both of them down there and film it. In case anybody's interested, you, uh, I'm sure you're online too, right? I, I am. Yeah. Okay. I'm at Etsy shop. Okay. Good. Thank you. Uh huh. Some more of us got a lot of. Murals here, some are new, some are older like that one. This one's made to look old, but it, it was a newer one. Got coffee with public down there. Some bubbles, some bubbles out here. <laughs> Let's go through the bubble machine. Hopefully it won't get on my lens. Woo. Got gym mining here for the kids. This whole section down here is for the kids. This is where the train comes in and out of. That's why they use that. Uh oh, somebody's choking down there. Drink some water too fast. So they've got a little blow up thing for it. It's like a hat stone where I guess it's like Velcro sticks there. And all the little jumping houses and all that. So let's go up here. The train's coming again. Let them uh, come on through and go over here to where we started. Yeah, it's been a fun little journey through this festival. We're on the back side of the little garden there where we started. And it's just now starting to get crowded, so it's a, fest a festival I definitely would want to attend every year. Like I say, we come a little early. I like to come early before it gets too crowded, so it'll be crowded here as the day goes on. Anyway, I'm going to hang out here a little bit further and go talk to my buddy up there. And, uh, Hope you enjoyed this walk and talk of the Race City Festival here in Mooresville, North Carolina. If you did, I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe, and share. Y'all take care.